Hello, so happy to be back here again, sitting in my comfy chair. Well, actually, it's a stool. But um, we're here again for another in the series of the Zentangle and more Learn With Me series. I had to add that and more on there because we're kind of thinking out of the box a little bit now. And so as I learn more and more, I kind of, you know, over a little over a month ago, I would have said, I can't draw a thing. But then now I have changed my mind and I have learned that I can, I can draw. This is a flower garland. So pretty. I drew that. A month ago, I wouldn't have even tried. But what we're going to do today, we did a couple days ago, we did the blooming butter. So we're going to use the blooming butter, what we learned a couple days ago. And I'm also going to use my um, circle thing here. Let's see. Now, if you have a circle stencil or something, then that's absolutely perfect. But if you don't, you can make a circle around a lid of something. Anything round uses a template. Now, and I'll, I want you to use a pencil because we're going to do some erasing here. So make your, your circle with a pencil. Okay? And I usually when I went around twice, but I want you to be able to see it. Okay, and then what I want you to do is I want to make, I want you to make down in this corner like this, some small circles. Now again, they're going to be erased, but we're using these circles as a guide. Okay, so I'm going to make a circle here, and then I'll make another one maybe right here. And it may be a one here. And do you see how these flowers? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these flowers here. And I have one up here. That's where I'm putting the circles. And so maybe I will put one here, but it's overlapping in here. Okay, and maybe I'll put one one more up here. Okay, those are going to be, my, oh, and then of course one over here. Now those are my beginning. Those are my circles to be the guide. Let's see if I can pull you a little bit closer to maybe you can see. Okay. There. Those are going to be my guides for my flowers. So I'm going to the blooming the blooming butter that we learned a couple days ago started with just five five little spots. Hmm. You know what I think I can I'll go ahead and do this part in pen. I'm gonna use my number two micron pen. And I'm going to get those five little circles in the center. And I'm going to put them in the center of each one of my um, circles. Okay, because that's how we did the blooming butter. No, I'm not getting them like in a circle, but I'm getting them in there anyway. Nonetheless, as you can see, we don't have to do anything perfectly. And so then what I'm doing, if I remember correctly, I'm going to take and I'm going to where each where I put those five little spots. They're supposed to be like in a circle, like in this one. This one's not good. That was not, well, they're not any good. But anyhow, I'm going to go and make make my little lines out to the outside of the circle. And I'm going to make them 
Hopefully I'm doing this right, you guys. Okay, so then I got my lines, and then I go and make like a, just that little humpty like a heart sort of in between each one of those lines. And then I'll go over and echo those lines for my flower. You know it's a little harder to do it with when they're small. Where's this? I think I'm going to get a finer pen even. These micron pens are amazing because they're just so so fine. Okay, so now I have this. That's the first flower. Then the second flower it's I got it overlapping so then when I'm making my lines I want to just get those lines to where it's going to actually look like it's underneath that first one. Whoopsie. Now if you like I just did I put that um I put that extra you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna fill in and I'm just gonna make it a different kind of flower. And what we're looking for here is not anything that is exact and perfect, and it doesn't have to look like a real flower. It has to look like a cheerful flower. And so there I have that one. I think that's cheerful. And then here I'll go that side of the line up to the circle. And... I'm making mine kind of curved, and I don't know if I'm doing it like what you would call perfect, and it is not perfect at all, not even a little bit. So I'm making that little hard shape that is not perfect, and it's not in the right place or anything. But you know what? This flower is going to be pretty. But I'm using my um, pencil line circle. Well, I am just building a flower here. It just became a flower. Some kind of a flower. It's cheerful. Okay, now let's see. Maybe I want to go with this. Maybe my problem was that I was going... in the wrong direction. Now this one here is overlapping this circle and that is just plum okay. Plum. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now as you can, this kind of looks like little hearts, doesn't it? And I'm just, now what I'm doing is I'm auraing just every other one because I'm doing every other one. I Maybe I should stop this video and just start going all over again because I don't know what I'm doing. And so, nonetheless, your little circle that you made with your pencil kind of keeps you just in line Except like this, I went way out of my circle. Now see, this circle here is, is um, this, this flower is overlapping this circle. But then that pencil circle is going to help me keep my flower kind of symmetrical, I think. Now, like we say, this is not meant to be any particular kind of a flower. It's just a cheerful flower. And then I have one more down here, and I'm going to try and do that one better. 
um, and um, I am so tired right now. I'm going to go take a nap when I'm done here. I get so tired or fatigued or whatever we want to call it today. Both of my doggies are at the beauty shop right now. I'll have to take pictures of them when they get home. So they're getting haircuts, they're getting a bath, they're getting all prettied up. All prettied up. So they're going to look beautiful when they get home. My daughter's going to go pick them up at 3 o'clock. Okay, these are flowers. Cheerful, unidentifiable flowers. They're just cheerful. And see, they're really not looking like my blooming butter at all. But that's because, um, let me see, just give me a minute and I'll think of an excuse. Oh, yeah, my ankle hurts. Okay, that's my excuse. My ankle hurts. I don't know what I did to my ankle. I really think it's just arthritis. Oh, now I hear thunder. Okay, see, so those, oh, I got to do this flower up here. So let's go this way. Oh, I see what I didn't do right. I was supposed to go like this from each of the five dots. Oh, see, I figured that out at the end. Oh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. And then like this, and then like this, and then like this, and then like this. But since I already did all the other ones like this, I'm going to continue and do this one too. So I just invented a new flower. And I'm just kind of aring all the petals. And it's a flower. Can't argue with that. Okay, now, so now I've got my flowers in my circle. So I want to do, see, then I put in a couple of daisies. A dollop of daisy. Just I put a couple little daisies, one here and one here. So I'm going to put, for the daisy, I just need a little circle. And then put a petal, one to the north, one to the south, one to the east, one to the west, one in the middle, and then in this middle, and then in this middle, and then in this middle. And there's me a daisy. I'll put me another one right here. Little circle. Kind of looks like a, a propeller on an airplane. And just put the little petals, that little daisy. See there? And then another fun kind of a flower is um, just a tiny circle. And just make little sticky outs on them. Just little sticky outs like this. That's cute. See, I've got a couple of them right here. Here's one here. And here's one right here. They're just little sticky outs on them. Okay, little sticky outs. Circle and little sticky outs. It's kind of like that little letter C. I like those. And then we need leaves, leaves, leaves. Okay, so now, see how I put some of the leaves on the outside, some on the inside. Oh, let's do our bluebells first. Because up on here, we're going to just kind of go down like this. Then you make just like a little hump hanging there and make just like a little cap under the hump and then 
go down like this on each side, put a little hook in a hook, and then connect the hook with the three little lumps, humps, doohickeys. See, you don't even have to be smart to do this. You don't have to have the words or nothing. Now, made that one kind of big, but that one had probably had some of that um, more fertilizer than this one. Miracle Grow. Okay, see there? And put a little. There we go with the little bluebells. Now I want to make my leaves. So I want to make my leaves like they're behind the flower. So I'll just go here. And you see, just rip like a little lazy S. And then come back like this. And that leaf, it just all of a sudden, there's a leaf. And then maybe I would want another one. Like this. There's a leaf. Then maybe I'll make one come. Let's see, can I do this upside down? No. There's a leaf. Ooh, I hear the thunder. Thunder. Okay, and then I want leaves over here. So I want a leaf here. And it's fun to get them going behind. If they're tucked a little behind a petal of a flower like that, it really is awesome, I think. I just think it's awesome, awesome, awesome. And then and these are just really not meant to have to look realistic. They just need to look cheerful. And they just need to make you happy. And then maybe I'll just do. Will I do another one out there? No, I, I think that's enough. But I'm going to go here. And see, that's why I just make like a lazy S. And then come around with just like a C to meet the end of that lazy S. And it kind of makes a pretty little leaf. I might learn new ones later on in my life. Now see that one went underneath that daisy. And then let's see I'm going to go now now that one turned out to be a little bit different which is just fine. Oh, I hear that thunder. Thunder, thunder, thunder. That is the best napping weather when you have thunder. You hide under the blankets. And do you know what I think I want to do? Oh, wait a minute. I gotta put one more. I wanna get a leaf that goes, that the hump is this way. And, because I wanna draw a caterpillar, like a little inchworm, which for the inchworm, all we have to do is circle, circle, circle. And now he's humping up. This is his body. And then go back down. And then his head is going to be just a little bit bigger. And give him two little antennas, two little dots for his little eyes. And there's my little caterpillar on the, on the um, leaf. So now I'm going to go and I want to, do you see how I decorated around that circle? 
do you see how I did that? I kind of put little knobs on it. Uh, there's little, little knobs here and there. Okay, so now you're going to go around your pencil circle. Only where it shows, like here it shows a little bit here. And a little bit here. I'll put that there. It really doesn't show anywhere else until you get up here. So now I'm going to just aura around and ever so often I'm going to put one of those little lumps. And then on the inside, you do the same thing on the inside. And then stop when you get to a leaf or a flower. And then here I'm going to do the outside and just a little bump. These are so pretty. If you're, if you like a lot of us do journaling, jump, make our own journals, our junk journals, or, or a, and a lot of us like to make the, um, you know, like nature journals or something. And if you do something like this on a tag, oh my word, how beautiful it is. And then when you put the little lumps, you're going to go, you go outline and then you inline around your, around your um, pencil circle. Okay, I did that one. Okay, so just a little spotlight right here. Ooh, I hear the thunder. Now, now it's ready for me to put some color on it, but I'm going to erase. Now, I use my plastic um, high polymer eraser, and I'm on um, watercolor paper again because it's just what I have, and I'm going to erase my pencil lines. I always want to wait just a couple minutes after I'm done because the ink sometimes takes just the tiniest bit of time to dry. And so it should be good and dry. And I'm going to just go around and I'm going to erase. And that's going to erase that pencil line that I was using as a guide. And this is a circle garland. And it is so beautiful. Just and all of yours, I mean, even if you do my, yours exactly like I did mine, yours is going to look different. And so I'm, I'm getting all of my pencil away, and the ink is staying. And I am using my Pigma, what are they called? Micron. Micron pens. Um... And I love them, and I thank everybody for the support they've been giving me with my channel because then I am able to get supplies that I can learn and then teach you what I'm learning or share with you what I'm learning and hopefully encourage you to do the same. And so I thank you all so much who have um, have supported my channel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Sharpie fine liner. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to inline every one of my leaves. That means I'm just going to go, instead of outlining on, on the outside, I'm inlining it. So I'm getting that on the inside. And then each one of those leaves, I'm going to inline with my green Sharpie. Now, and I'm only doing the... Um, the inlining, I'm not coloring the whole thing, because if you can see on here, I did the inline on it, but then I went with a colored pencil and colored inside of that, and it gives it more dimension. Now see, I'm going to, my little caterpillars up there, 
Don't forget to put a little caterpillar. <gasps> Tomorrow I'm going to be drawing bugs. I, you wait till you see it. Don't worry, it's probably just going to be a ladybug and a bumbly bee. But tomorrow I'm going to show you how I learned how to do those. I think you will be impressed and I think you'll be proud of me, I'm telling you. I am just so... I This morning I, I don't get onto my own Facebook page very often. And... um like maybe every other day because I do have a lot of things going on tonight I get my grandson again so I've already got our art supplies out on the dining room table because I want him to stay busy with me and so sometimes I do get a little bit busy doing other things but I do plan to do tomorrow's lesson I'm calling them lessons now. Don't I sound like I'm a know-it-all? And um, I'm going to draw bugs. And you're going to love them. I'm telling you. You're going to love them. And we have to thank Johanna Bassford for that. Because I'm learning from her. And she's amazing. I gave you info on her yesterday. Hopefully you all looked her up. Because I know you will love her. See, now as I'm inlining this, there's one of those little thingies there. And I made sure I didn't cover that up. But do you see now how by putting this color, it is all popping out so pretty. Some I look at these when I'm done and I think, who did that? Then I think I did that, and I'm amazed. Okay. And you will feel the same way. And I think making these circular garlands like this is so, so pretty. I mean, they turn out so pretty if you were to um, frame them and give them as a gift to somebody for a birthday or something. Okay, now I'm going to take my, oh, I didn't get all of that erased here. My circle, let me get that. There, now that's better. Now I'm going to take a little darker, this is a little darker green, so I'm going to go around my actual circle here and inline that whole whole thing and let's see I had a little piece in here somewhere there's a little piece well it, it escaped it escaped from me it escaped I'm my my thing isn't turning because I got too much junk in my way okay I don't know if you all have the problem of getting too much junk in your way, but I do. And then I'm going to go down here and inline this one. Am I still in frame? Oh, yeah, I am. Wow, I'm amazed. And this is just amazing. I mean, if you have a tag or something, anything that you want to put in your journal and you've got some of your own artwork on it, my hand is a little shaky there, so, but that gives it more character in my own humble opinion. So then I've done those. And then what I'll do is I'll take my green colored pencil and I'll just have it a little bit of a different color green that than what I just outlined it with and these pencils that I have are Prisma colors I've got other ones too I need to play with the other ones and see how they do and there we go see so now I'm just going to go inside I'm going inside the leaves 
which is inside where I inlined all that other green. And so just doing the leaves. And of course you can take your time. You don't have to go as fast as I'm going because actually when I did the other one, I really took my time more. But see now how the, the green leaves are just popping. They're just so pretty. And then I'll use a different color green to do fill in on the um, on the actual circle. And now if you leave a little bit of white here and there, it actually gives it a little sparkle. So if you don't if you don't hit every little color, I mean every little spot, it really is kind of nice because it gives it that little sparkle. I'm going to go a little bit more over these now. Actually, now I have a little bit. Um, this is watercolor paper, so it's got a bit of a texture in the paper. So it actually is showing a little bit of of like a texture even in the leaf, which is kind of neat. Um, I want to get some just plain drawing paper, which is a little bit heavier than copy paper. I did this one just on regular copy paper, and it really did turn out okay. What did I do? Did I lose myself in luxury here? I look at the... Oh, no, I'm still there. And so, um, yeah, this one I did, like I said, I did this one just on copy paper. And it did just fine, actually. But I was looking at different kinds of art paper on, on um, Amazon, but I could not, I don't know the differences enough yet to know if I want to order. And I do have a little bit of spending money that I can maybe order something. So I want to see, I don't want to only use this watercolor paper that I got from Artesia. Oh, maybe even Artesia has some just drawing paper. I'll have to look and see what I can find. But um, there we go. Now I'm going to take my darker orange and I am going to go around each one of my flowers because they're going to be not the daisies though I'm going to do them in yellow but I'm going to where I are it around the petals I'm filling that in with this darker orange and boy I sure did a job on these I'm telling you I got my wiggle hand going on but see, that's mine. That's my art. And I'm telling you, I am so... I, I just... Oh, I didn't get that erased real good either. Let me see. I want to leave my pencil lines in there. And these kind of erasers here, they're the cat's meow. I like them the best. And you might hear from other other artists like yeah of some that might be even better I don't know but these ones they're they're not expensive and they really do the trick you know I've heard some that use like a kneaded eraser and they say there's less dust but I don't mind the dust I just will knock it into the floor where that's where dust belongs in my opinion Okay, so now I'm just going around and around and around we go where we stop. Nobody knows. Oh, I can't wait to see my doggies when they come home from the beauty shop. It's been so long. I've been doing their haircuts and I've been giving them their baths, but my daughter met a lady that does grooming and so 
she says, why don't we take the dogs to this groomer mainly to support, you know, this young lady that's trying to make a living. I said, absolutely, boy, because I just really don't like cutting my dog's toenails. That scares me, really. I'm afraid I'm going to hurt them. So if I can have somebody else do it for me, then I'm happy. I'm very happy. So that's where they're at. They're at the beauty shop. We're going to pick them up at 3 o'clock. Well, we're not. That would be my daughter is. I always say we, even if I have nothing to do with it. Okay, and so I about got these ones done. Okay, that's all of those flowers. Then I have this one up here. Where did I go again? I keep losing myself. How do I lose myself? I think I'm hitting my mouse with something. Okay, there we go. Now, I want to look, be able to look at the screen and hopefully I stay in frame. And so... And then all these dividing lines, I'm going to go with those two. I think I hear the rain. I can hardly tell inside the house if it's raining. We have to look out the window. Before we had this house built, we lived in a mobile home, and oh gosh, I loved the sound of the rain on the roof, on the tin roof. Then we had the house built, and oh my goodness, can't hear anything outside. I mean, like on the roof, I can hear the thunder. Okay, so there we go. We'll get those dividing lines for the petals. And, do I got them all? Yeah, close enough. And then I'm going to take my light orange, or like a, let me see if this will be good. Well, yeah, that's good. Oh, you know what I need to do? I didn't do, actually I don't like this one. Second thought, you get back in there where you belong. And let me get... This orange, this is better. But I, what I forgot to do is to do my little, my little um, dots. Let me see. I'll use my eight for my dots. I'm learning what each color, what each number will do for me. There, yeah, I gotta have them dots, and they need to be black. Those five dots we started with. I'm going to have to go look at my own video and um, refresh my mind on how I did those, those blooming butters because, yeah, just because. Now this is more of a red. I don't want that one either, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, Elizabeth. How, well, that's pink. And that's. My lighting in here is, leaves a lot to be desired. That's pink. See, I look at something that looks orange, and I pick it up and it looks not orange. What is this? Oh, of course it's red. It says red right on it. Now this will work. Oh yeah, that's better. Oh, I didn't do the black spots. Boy. And here today, I say I'm teaching you something of all days to decide to really mess things up. And um, and so, but anyway, I'm doing this 
So that one's a little different color up there, but it's just going to have to live like that. And so then I'm just coloring in inside. And when I put that um, that outside, like inlined it with, with the marker, it kind of makes the whole thing pop a little bit. That's the word I hear people use, you know, pop. My, my little caterpillar. I don't know what color I'll color my caterpillar. I'm going to name him Jake. What do you think, Jake? Okay. Oh, here, see, I didn't put the inlines in that one. Oh, well, it's okay anyway. It doesn't need doesn't need them. Okay. Oh, I'm going to go, gonna go over here and get this one. I like orange flowers. Okay, and then my blue, my blue bells, my blue bells, I made them kind of big, but I'm going to inline them with the blue, inline them with the blue, and yep, and yep, and yep, and yep, and yep. I like my blue, I use this one blue a lot. Yeah, I'm running out of juice. That's okay, though, because these suckers are cheap. And now that soon it's going to be school supply time, they'll have good deals on these kind of markers. I am running out of blue here. That's all right. I don't need much. And so that is when I will replenish that's usually when I replenish a lot of my supplies is when they have the, the school supplies start going on sale. So far they think school is going to happen. I don't know. We don't know. We never know if it is or if it isn't. No, I don't, dear. Thank you, darling, for asking. I'm, um, I only have time to play. That's all I have time to do. Yeah. Okay, see, so then there, but I'm going to go with this lighter blue over it and use it as kind of a blender because it's, I kind of use in this blue one to kind of blend this light, lighter blue because it's got a, um, blunter end and I can press a little harder to blend. Okay, so then that's that. I think that's very pretty. I don't know, some about my bluebells. I think they need something. I'm going to make some dots. Just down one side. Somehow, for some reason, dots just make things dotty, okay? Now, I want to get my yellow. Now, my yellow, my my uh, little daisies here, my little yellow daisies, I'll just completely color them in with this marker because they're, they've got such narrow little petals. And so I'll just get them colored in with just the marker. I won't need to get any pretty. Oh, see, I didn't get um, this part of this. That's got to get, that's got to get colored in there. It's a wee bit there. See, now that I got the other parts colored in, I see my little spots that I need to color in from my original circle. Okay, now these guys, oh, I'm going to make them, where'd, where'd you go, blue marker? Where'd the blue marker go? I just had it in my hot little hand. Oh, there it is. I want to color these little tiny sand spurs or whatever they are. Here in Florida, we got sand spurs. They kind of look like that. You step on them, suckers. Ooh, they hurt. I'm going to put um, a little blue dot inside here, too. 
but now my my um I'm gonna make my caterpillar well caterpillars can be any color in the world I'm gonna make him an orange caterpillar so I'm just gonna color in his little dots orange because he's an orange little inchworm see how he's inching around on them actually I get these little worms on my plants outside and I say go away don't eat my plants because they do they eat them let's see and maybe I'll use this light green for his little face you got green face because he's ate my leaf because he's eating my leaf now this is what I did this one I used a smaller circle and see and uh, just a little bit different of a flower but I did the same thing with a couple of daisies and a couple of the little sandspurs things although I like these um, little blue bells bigger than better than these big blue bells but that's what I did today we did this is what we did we did this um, um, what did we call it a floral garland floral garland and like if you're doing a you can do a whole circle and garland all the way around the circle if you want and you can do I mean using just the circle as a as a template and like I say if you do some pencil sketching all I did with the pencil was just slightly make the um the circle and then put the circles where I wanted the flowers overlap some of the circles and then fill them circles in and then I just drew the leaves with the pen I didn't even do that with pencil did I yeah I just did them with the pen and so but look how pretty that is if you were to do this on a tag and put it in your journal or on a, um, a um, if you're making a a um, journaling card to put in your journal and this one's kind of big but I could still use that in a journal somehow but I am loving doing this doing the um, doing the the garlands like this and there's so many things you can do with just do a garland on this sort corner of the page and this corner of the page and in a journal oh my gosh and so yes you could draw you can draw look at this I did this and I think that Picasso would be jealous or somebody would be jealous I don't know. maybe not maybe I'm just saying that but um oh my gosh I just think it's adorable okay I'm gonna read to you today you are stronger than you know this is what only you I like to read whatever I open up to usually let me see use this rope card only you know what's right for you so many choices so many voices people tugging a little people pulling a little who to listen to which way to go everyone means well the sounds are thunderous the ideas are divergent the or divergent I don't know that word I'll have to look it up the only voice that must matter is the one that resonates in your own heart the only choice that must matter is the one that you decide is right for you only you can decide what the fabric of your life will be and that was written by Susan Polis Schultz and she wrote that you are stronger than you know the ideas are divergent or diversion. What does that word mean, Papa? Divergent or diversion? When you get directed off path. Oh, when you get directed off path. Diverted away from where you're supposed to. Okay, so now we know what that word means. And so that's my reading for today. I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you on the next video. And draw yourself a garland, a circle garland like a little wreath. God bless you all and be safe.